welcome to Weird Wednesdays. So, um, today uh, we've decided to do something a little bit different. We are going to try to use a chair as much as we can throughout the exercise. So hopefully um, you can pause the video here, quickly go grab a chair, ideally a light one, and then come back and reset the video. Um, because most of the exercises, apart from a couple, are going to involve a chair. So just something to switch it up. We've been at it for several weeks now. So um, again, something to keep it interesting and fun. So we are going to start. Sydney's going to take us through a warm up. Yeah. And off we go. So starting with a few big breaths here. and do those rotations here. If that's a little bit too much, you can just do it from higher up. So today we have uh, 40 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, which is a little bit more than we normally do, but it's kind of to allow us to have to explain all these exercises <laughs> because we've decided to make up a bunch of random ones. So all involving a chair. chair and all you're doing is tapping. So having your feet elevated like that makes it a bit harder on the shoulders. If that's too much then we're just going to do this version. And that was the first two. So let's get into it. We'll start the timer here. Off we go. Starting with rope climbers. Here we go. This one reaching as high as you can. to the high plank toe tap. So here with me in the push-up position. Um, and then you're just going to basically tap um, one side of the chair, tap the other side of the chair. And away we go. Seconds. Almost there. Good. And 
to the planks. There we go. A little bit more rest between, which is nice. Shake those arms out. Okay. And away. into the next two. So chair where it is, starting with the glute bridge, basically just feet up on the chair, and then we do some marching. Having your feet elevated like this really works the back of your thigh, so your hamstrings, as opposed to the normal version is more your glutes. Tuck that butt in. Here we go, 10 seconds. Nice, okay. Next one, very straightforward, simply a squat holding the chair. So whatever way is comfortable, over the shoulder doesn't really matter, as long as you're squatting and holding that chair. And then with me, we're just gonna squat down to the chair. Obviously, the farther away from you, the more you engage those arms. Fifteen seconds. those two. Weird Wednesdays, getting a chair involved. Hopefully you picked a light chair, because oh my god, <laughs> even with these Ikea chairs, it's not easy. All right, here we go. Keep that butt engaged. Push those hips up. Try to maintain that position you can. Take a break when you need. Last five. Okay. Whew. Back into the squat. too far down or you'll never get back up. <laughs> Basically what you're doing is trying to use your weight 
hinging off of the knees, slowing yourself, pushing yourself back up. So start low with this one. So you should feel a good pull in the, in the quads here. And again, nuts, you don't need to go fast with this one. You're just trying to feel that tension, pull yourself back up. If it's tough on the knees, again, I mentioned before, roll a towel, put it underneath just below your knees. Should take a little bit of pressure off the knees. Good. All right, dips. I'm sure you've done dips before. Basically like this, and you're going down. The farther away your arms are, or the farther away your feet are, the harder it is. With this one, try to avoid this position with your shoulder where they're really coming forward. Keep your shoulders back. Try to stay nice and close to the chair if you can. You don't want to be way out far, that's tough on the shoulders. Stay as close as that chair. You should be feeling this primarily in the back of your upper arm. Oh, certainly. <laughs> if it's too tough, if the shoulders just don't agree with it, take a break, do some marching on the spot, just something to keep the heart rate up. One more. Okay, back into the reverse, or the reverse north curl. You can have your feet up, feet flat. Again, just your own comfort level with this one. And again, straight line, knees, hips, shoulders. Try not to arch too much, puts a lot of pressure in the back. Engage the core, lower that rib cage, tuck it in, and you should feel it take some pressure off the back. And again, go down as far as you can comfortably. But it can be a fun exercise to challenge yourself. See just how far you can go. It's normal with this one to have a little bit of muscle soreness afterward. Because it's a harder movement for the muscle to do. Okay. Back to the dips. Here we go. Computer's turning off. Nothing's perfect. Here we go. Oh. the next one here. So dead bug with the chair in the air. Again, another weird one. Basically, hold the chair however you can in the air. Legs up, and we just lower and down. We're just gonna not use the chair. And ideally you picked a light chair again, like I said. So again, easier version, legs are staying closer to your body. Harder, you're tapping out further. Keeping your low back to the floor. If you want, get some chest in there. <laughs> you know? Get the arms in. Again, very light chair. <laughs> Please don't think I'm Hercules. Ten seconds. <laughs> okay, chair down. Last one here of today. In and out. So, sitting here. Hands on the floor, in the chair, outside the chair. You're basically just switching those two movements. Here we go. In, side the chair, outside the chair. If you can, keep the feet, keep the feet off the ground the whole time. You can go crazy, you can tap up, in, up. Oh, that one's harder. Oh God. I'm just sliding my feet on the ground, keeping my core tight the whole time. 15 seconds. Whew. That's a good one. Out. In. <laughs> See? It's not easy. Not easy working out. <laughs> 
grunting and exhaling and all sorts of noises. Just to know that you're alive. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. If you want to engage the core even more, I have the shoulders right over the chair, or the chair over the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Push it back a little bit, engages the core quite a bit more. <laughs> Don't drop the chair on any other people. Yeah, animals, people, try to keep it away. Oh. Okay, in and outs, last one of today. Whew. Hope you're feeling it as much as I am. <laughs> this is wild. Okay, here we go. Ten seconds, last ten seconds. Here we go. Three, two. Oh, okay, done. Oh, well done. Okay, cool down. Let's get the chair involved. Why not? It's been with us the entire time. Okay, so. We're going to start with just the breaths that we always do. And all the way out. In. All the way out. One more. In. All the way out. Sit back into the chair. Right? Feet wide. Reaching out with the hands. Again, sink. Low, low as you can. My hamstrings don't allow me to go any lower, so this is as far as we're going. Might feel it in the hips, might feel it in the low back. Again, just try to relax that breath. And then you kind of walk your hands over to your left leg, grabbing on there, using the arm a little bit, pull yourself into that left leg. Over again, pulling yourself into that right leg, again, trying to control your breathing, get that breath back. Okay, back to the middle, up, All right. and then we're going to come up standing, again, involve the chair. Let's get one arm or one leg on that chair. Just gently go forward, stretching out that hamstring. This could have been an exercise, you know, we never know. Good. Switch. Those hips go down, bending forward, lean forward, drive that knee forward. All right, shake it out, and you have made it. So, that is this Wednesday's workout. Um, we will see you guys again on Friday.